as business owners travel along the entrepreneurial journey, one thing that's for sure is it would have been possible without community, which is especially crucial, crucial for those navigating through this male dominated industry, such as those working in the world of business. And this sense of community is important for women who have to work an extra bit harder to get their company that the, the traction that they need. Ticker's special International Women's Day episode starts right now. Take her in association with Lift Women, inspiring female founders. Welcome to Tick Her. I'm Jamila Jallo and it is my absolute pleasure to be here to talk all things business with women who are making a difference. And of course, with International Women's Day among us, I'm so excited to share a packed show with some incredible women. Now, in this episode, we'll talk about getting traction for businesses, as well as how they're able to leverage social circles and build impressive networks. So let's share it loud and say it proud with today's special episode of Tick Her. Now, before we get started, I'd like to remind you all that whilst Live Women is the presenting sponsor of today's discussion, all of the views and opinions are, of course, our own. Now, joining to me today, we have Global Sisters COO Heather McLean Thompson, who has today just launched an exciting new partnership with Lift Women to hashtag bring back her brilliance. The partnership will provide funding and a marketplace to Australian business women who are starting up their business dreams. Heather, happy International Women's Day and thank you so much for joining me. Thanks so much for having us today. Now, let's talk about this exciting new partnership that's just launched. So what is this partnership? What does it entail and what will it mean to those who are participating? Uh, so the Lift Women and Global Sisters Partnership is really about backing um, women who have amazing micro businesses around Australia. So I think that the, the big challenge for women getting businesses off the ground um, is, um, of course, it's finance, but even more so it's things like confidence, it's um, community and connection, it's having long-term support and business skills. Um, what the Lift Women and Global Sisters campaign will really help with is around the funding. So um, what we typically see is that women who are setting up businesses in Australia don't always need that startup sector tech unicorn style funding. Um, they often seek something a little different to, to that. And um, this is where the campaign really comes in. Um, it's a crowdfunding campaign, so it's not just to not just for actual funding for the business to grow and um, to grow the business, but um, also that community that comes behind the along with the crowdfunding. Now, what message would you have to females who are thinking of starting their own business? Oh, look, at this 100% go for it. There's so much focus on getting a job in Australia, on employment, and that is not going to always work for all women with the, the barriers and um, the biases that are out there. Um, you know, a woman, a single mom who has um, kids at home and no childcare, for her to go and work a nine to five job is just not always going to be possible. Um, but setting up a micro business is something that we believe any woman can do. If she can um, overcome those barriers around confidence, around knowing that there's going to be that long term support in place and those connections that you really need to get a business off the ground, um, then it's absolutely possible. Um, we, we, we always speak about micro business is just under four employees. That's all it means. And um, just because it's a micro business doesn't mean it's not mighty. It doesn't mean that it doesn't um, support a woman in her, um, her business goals and her financial goals and contributing to society. So we're, we're big believers in micro business and the power of women's micro business. Amazing. Thank you so much, Heather, for chatting with me today. And this is such an exciting partnership. So I'm really looking forward to see what happens next. Thanks. 
Awesome. Now over to my next guest today. Uh, Cloven Doe Distilling Co. is Australia's first all-female founded and operated distilling company dedicated to inclusive, clean and conscious drinking. Cloven Doe's non-alcoholic and low-alcohol handcrafted botanic distilled spirits are vegan and free of sugar, gluten, artificial sweeteners, flavours and additives. Cloven Doe is not only a, on a mission to level the playing field in a male-dominated industry, but to offer crafted, premium and sophisticated of drinks to everyone. It's my absolute pleasure, pleasure to introduce Katie Fry, the founder and head distiller at Clovendo Distilling Co. and newly announced sister at the Global Sisters new community. Katie, welcome to the show and thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. Thanks for the intro, Jamila, and happy International Women's Day. Yes, happy International Women's Day. Now, when and why did you decide to start distilling non-alcoholic spirits? Um, I actually started working and um, creating my non-alcoholic spirit range back in 2017. So I sat on them for a few years um, before I actually uh, put it out to market and um, really launched uh, the product and also the distilling company. And I think a lot of that came from um, that uh, not having much confidence in myself from my own unconscious gender bias as well. Um, yeah. So it was quite a journey for me. I'd been in the distilling industry for about uh, five. I've been in the distilling industry for about five years now, and um, yeah, it uh, it took me all my experiences of um, yeah gender bias to kind of get me to create this all female distilling company. Yeah. Now, as this is an all female distilling company, how has it been navigating this traditionally male dominated space? Yeah, look, I think there's a lot more female distillers emerging in, in the industry, which is great, but it doesn't mean that there's not a lot of um, still, you know, traditional assumptions and bias there. I think it's been, for me, a little unnecessarily harder and slower to get where I wanted to be. But again, like I say, perhaps some of that was my own unconscious gender bias. You know, it was my own conditioning and programming, probably from childhood, from uh, from um, cultural learnings, from past yeah, experience. Absolutely. So, um, like I said earlier today in the Q and A with Global Sisters for International Women's Day chat, um, you know, I guess to challenge unconscious gender bias, we actually the only thing we can do is actually bring it to the conscious. So I think by creating Cloven Doe Distilling Co. Um, and shining a light on that all female aspect, that was my way of saying. Hey, I'm here <laughs> in this male-dominated space. Yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah, great. Now, can we just quickly touch on the current crowd crowdfunding campaign that you have with Lift Women and Global Sisters? So, how has it been for you as a female founder using the, them as a platform? They're fantastic. I mean, they're, it's like a one big cheer squad, really, and that's what you need. You need a bit of a community to pick yeah. you up. You know, there's nothing like being with other like-minded um, people, let alone like-minded women in business. At the end of the day, I've found just so many uh, women who are all about collaboration, not competition, and that has just been really fantastic. So I think that's what Global Sisters and um, Lift Women kind of um, bring to the forefront, is that we're all just, you know, in that same boat, all just trying to make a living out of what we do best and what we love. So um, yeah, the crowdfunding launched today and super excited about it as the other sisters are. Now, Katie, thank you so much for joining me today. And I love how we've spoken about today's International Women's Day theme of breaking the bias. You're really doing that. And so are a lot of the other businesses and founders that I'm talking to today. So thanks for joining me on the show today. Thank you. Now to our next guest for today, who is also a sister of Global Sisters community. Sianna Dong is the founder of Cami Fleur, an online based flower studio that creates gorgeous custom arrangements using preserved flowers. This idea came to life after came to life after wanting to find an alternative to fresh cut flowers in the name of environmental sustainability. Now, Sianna, thank you so much for joining today, me today and happy International Women's Day. How are you going today? I'm very great and happy <laughs> International Women's Day. Yes, thank you so much for joining us. Now, I love this idea. I mean, I buy vases all the time. Anytime I see like a pretty vase, I'm always the first to buy it. But it's always trying to get flowers in there that can last a long time. So I love this idea. How did you come up with it? Yeah, thank you so much. Um, I'm just a 
up and come a local uh, from a local Vietnamese village and uh, my Australian friends still help me to with my English on the way to this studio so basically I've just love flowers doing it because after I learn about the waste um, of just an event or a wedding after a few hours of chuck away also a lot of carbon dioxide with the importation um, yeah so I wanted to create something that is last longer and more sustainable um, also you can have these flowers for gift that will last yeah now what makes camifleur different to other floral providers things that make camifleur different from other florals is I would say the first thing is about customer. We really focus on our customer with everything that we do is a fast delivery response service and a lot of personalization when it comes to gift, when it comes to design and also 100% of our packaging is sustainable and like eco-friendly um, material. Awesome. Now, as an online based business, we've been talking about the importance of community gaining traction. So how did you establish a surrounding community as an online business? Oh, this is such an interesting question <laughs> because in now with this digital world, I would say the thing is just be as humanly as possible. Yeah. Um, I'm just really coming from my own passion and trying to show that the authenticity of how I tell my own story. I could just let everyone know about how I'm doing like arranging flowers every day, cleaning up my studio when we got flooded in mm. Sydney. And um, yeah, like the up and down also during COVID and lockdown. It's all just about sharing the real you and letting the customer can see that yeah, you love what you do and you just can do it even in the hard time. Yeah, absolutely. Now, to finish off, I'd he I've heard some amazing and very exciting news that you've already reached 50% funding despite your crowdfunding for program only launching last night. So congratulations. And what does this Thank mean you. for the future of Camifleur? It's such an exciting news and it means a huge impact to my future business, uh, to my business. And it, it's actually hold a massive place close to my heart to my childhood and upbringing i have my sister who has um disability and with this one if it's successful it would mean that i can spread happiness not just for myself but for people who believe or think less of themselves and also inspire others just like all the community like global sister like leaf women that's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us today. That's all we have time for for today for Tick Earth. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Jamila Jello and happy International Women's Day.